The best sides have one thing in common, splitting sides open from dangerous areas of the pitch. They will even have different ways of doing it. You can do the same thing on Football Manager. Sides like Manchester City and Liverpool win matches because they make more open play passes from one zone on the pitch. On today's show, I'm going to show you exactly what kind of transition you should be looking for. Yes, if you learn how to spot transitions in this one zone, you can only get better. And you will be one step closer to replicating your own tactics or even being able to identify when your tactical system needs a bit of a tweak. My name, my name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Yes, this is the place where you'll find content on the Game Football Manager. I also stream three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. I keep saying the same thing over and over again. Yes, on Tuesdays and Saturdays, you'll find me on Twitch, where you're more than welcome to join me in Draft Ball. We'll play a few games together, have some fun. Yes, today we're going to be talking about Half Space Tactics. I've explained the concept of the Half Space on previous videos on this channel. So if you want a deeper dive, you can go check out that video. I've also spoken about the kind of players that you need to be able to control this zone, what you can do with different kinds of players on another video. On today's video, I'm going to do things slightly differently. We're going to try and understand what these half spaces are. I'm going to then craft the tactic and then I'm going to show you exactly the transition we are looking out for to show us whether this tactic is playing well. What are half spaces? These aren't really channels because channels are the space between the players and in the case of football manager one of the channels is between the fullback and the touchline half spaces are basically fixed zones on the pitch and these are what we might call um the difference between the center and the wings it just splits the difference between these two zones for sides like manchester city the half space alone accounts for more forward passes than any other zone on the pitch on a per touch basis, of course, passes from the middle of the pitch are generally more dangerous, but a lot of sides will try and deny you that chance because they will congest the middle of the pitch. Why is the half space so important? Because when players are in that half space, they see more of the pitch. They shape their body up, they can see a lot of their teammates attacking the box. With different kinds of players on the pitch, Liverpool have different ways of playing forward passes from the half space. They've got Alex Oxlade Chamberlain who can attack the half space with his direct running. Um, with Manchester City, they have wingers that sit wide and then that opens up the whole half space, allows players like Kevin De Bruyne to play his diagonal passes or Gundungan to come in and attack from deeper areas, which explains why at one point Gundungan was actually the leading goal scorer of that team. So whenever I'm creating tactics or watching any of my matches on Football Manager, you've seen this on the stream. Right? I'll be looking at one zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you a formation. I'm going to explain the roles and duties and why they're being used and how I expect them to be playing in the half spaces. And then we shall go in and look for that transition that is very, very important. In the next few episodes, I'm going to share a couple of tactics with you. And I'm probably not going to do the whole half space introduction all over again. I'm just going to go into the video and I'm going to go, hey, these are the transitions. This is the tactic. Let's go because I don't plan on giving long intros to these videos. I've done Man City's 4-3-3 and Liverpool's 4-3-3 so many times. Let's do something new. I've also set up pressing traps for our tactic to try and win the ball in the middle. Now, if you don't have a clue on what pressing traps are or how they can help your tactic out, I've also done a video that can help you out. Okay, this is one of my favorite formations in the whole game of football matches, the 4-3-1-2. The 4-3-1-2 relies on wingbacks to give you the width and you always have to think about how you're going to unlock space for the wing back so that they can come in unmarked. You want them to be able to come in behind defenders. On top of that, you also want to look for players uh, who are drifting into this half space zone about here and here, looking to play key passes, forward key passes that will lead to goal scoring opportunities for their teammates. So for this tactic, I'm always going to be looking for key passes being generated by four positions on the pitch. The Carrello, the Mazzara, the wingback, and the wingback. Now, the Carrello is a very undervalued role of a football manager. This is a fantastic role that will go from area to area. He doesn't enter the boxes, but he patrols the entire zone here, and that includes the half space. Now, the beauty about this role is he doesn't enter the boxes. And this means that he's a very solid option for teams that want to keep possession of the ball and want to control areas of the pitch. The Mazzara, on the other hand, he is 
a bit more creative than a Carrello. But don't let this fool you. Because if you play a player with good passing, vision, decisions and flair as a Carrello, he can also generate a lot of fantastic goal scoring opportunities for his team. Tom Carroll played in this position for me last season in League One and created 221 goal scoring chances for the whole team. He was absolutely phenomenal from this position. Now, naturally, this is going to be a big ask against Premiership side Burnley. We are, after all, only a newly promoted side into the Championship. So, this is not going to be an easy game. So I'm looking at link up play, right? So, as we bring the ball forward, unfortunately, it was marked out of the game. Uh, we're putting enough pressure on them. Um, and, yep, the fact that is my why working in midfield. Fraser as the ball. Chaplin, we're looking for the half speed. Yep. Really good movement from the half spaces to move the ball forward, working hand in hand with opposition instructions, which I'm really happy about. So our opposition instructions won the ball for us in the middle of the park. We move the ball forward. Uh, this is the half space. You got Fraser, the attacking playmaker, dropping into the half space, and then we've got forward passing options, right? So we've got this is much harder. He has to do a ball over the top into the channel here, but um, here we can. Fraser plays one between the play defenders and yep, it's a really good really good movement in the half spaces to move the ball forward. This is exactly the kind of transition I'm looking for. Unfortunately for Ipswich, we had to go into a penalty shootout, which we lost. We got a chance to see one of those transitions through the half space. We follow that up with a league match against a team that was sitting back defending. And I want to show you other transitions that I was looking out for. Whenever I'm looking out for a transition, I'm always looking for players in the half spaces to observe how they play the pass. It's very important to think of how your roles and duties can combine to give you vertical movement in the half spaces. Here, our deep line forward is dropped back. The Mazala and the playmaker have swapped positions and they create a goal scoring opportunity, which, you know, it's a bit difficult, but the striker gets it done. After that fantastic finish, you might be wondering if this is pre patch or post patch. Definitely post patch. This is after the 22.3.0.0 patch. So, yes, it is the latest information. Whether you're making an attacking or a counter attacking tactic, you're always looking for movement into the half spaces. And you're always trying to see whether those players are going to be making forward passes. If they can't make forward passes, it's probably down to a lack of options. Here we have unlocked the right flank for a high scoring goal chance. Just like it is in real life, if you are able to make forward passes from that position, you are generally going to do quite well and you'll be able to create goal scoring chances. So what kind of players do you need in a 4-3-1-2 to you know, take advantage of the hard spaces? Well, certainly you need players who've got good composure because they're always going to be under pressure. They should be able to twist and turn and play the pass. So you need players with good composure, balance. They also need to be able to pass. They need good decisions. Generally, these kind of players in a 4 3 one 2 I also like them to be able to tackle because you want the wing back to have some company. You know, you can't expect the wing back to be doing all the tackling. So occasionally those Mazalas or Carrelos need to drop back. They are supposed to lend a helping hand. And if you have the right kind of player, he will do that. When I made this video, the goal was very simple. I wanted to share with you the most important transition I try to identify in every single game that I play, regardless of the system I'm playing. Because for every single tactic that I create, I'm always looking in the same zone and I'm always looking to see whether those players in that zone are making those kind of passes. And I'm going to show you other tactics that I've created on future shows. And these are all going to be about the half spaces and how I look at the half spaces for every single different kind of formation or every different kind of formation, not every single... Okay, never mind. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you found it useful. If you have any questions, you guys know they'll find me. You guys stay safe, stay healthy. Once again, I want to thank you for your support. Bye-bye.